welcome back to Life Learning. This is me, uh, Christina Ballard, telling you guys all about uh, the WGU Notion dashboard that I created um, as my student planner. Um, I no longer use paper planner and this is because um, it just fits more to my style and it's just easier to use and it's also free. And as a student, um, I can't tell you how many times um, just free stuff I just, I just love. Um, I'm going to be showing you in a second um, of how I use the dashboard. Um, however, I will um, put together a link below for you to access this dashboard for free. Um, it will be free and it's open to the public for about a few days. I'm not sure. I th I'm thinking about three, but I might extend it a little longer. Um, and then after that, it will go on my Etsy shop. So while you can, try and grab it up uh, as quickly as possible. All right, so this is my WGU um, dashboard. Um, I really created this for like myself because um, I did find other people that used um, student dashboards for themselves. And I tried those templates um, from other um, content creators. But what I found is, um, is that WGU is very different from other online universities um, or any other university really, um, because it focuses on one class at a time instead of multiple at once. So I created this for myself. Um, so what we have at the front is this is um, like just a layout. I, I like this print. Um, we've got like a little icon that you can always change it. Um, this is um, where I put future like uh, quotes, uh, future quotes. This is the one I have for right now. Um, this is a little toggle list. You can kind of collapse it or expand it. Um, it just lists like what are my priorities for today? Um, what do I want to complete by the end of the day? So um, Notion is a great way to just have like your own digital planner. And the reason why I like um, this kind of digital uh, planner is that it's free and um, you can really customize it to any way you want. Um, and which, I mean, I do like paper planners. Um, I still have some, but I really feel like this fits more of my needs um, than a paper planner um, ever could. But you know, if you don't, if you don't feel that way and you, um, you want to use the paper planner, go for it. Um, this is just what works for me. So right here we have due within the week and due within the end of the month and WGU, it really depends on, um, at the end of the, how many weeks you're going to get, uh, to complete a course or, um, so that's why I put, you know, due within the end of the month or due within the week, because, um, I really plan week base and you'll see in a second, um, I'm going to show you, but this is just what to accomplish at the end of the month. So usually when I start like a, a term or a semester at WGU, I always say to myself, okay, what do I want to accomplish by the end of the month? Okay. I want to finish this course in about three weeks and maybe start on the next course. Um, or maybe just do one course in one month. It really just depends on you and your preferences, but that's how I kind of look at it. So that's why I created do within the month. That kind of, it just reminds me and it motivates me, um, you know, to work hard for what I want. So we also have a today's schedule and I like this because I kind of split everything up due to my personal schedule. Um, I have like a morning class and afternoon class. Um, right now I'm wor working on the, um, the praxis test and, um, if you need help for those kind of tests, um, I will be posting a video soon on uh, tips and uh, tricks for how to pass those praxis tests. Uh, because as a teacher, you have to have that done. And I really recommend taking the praxis test versus the ACT or SATs because it's just a little bit easier. Um, and I again show you in that video that I'm going to be posting. But here's the status. So I can click, you know, not started, in progress, done. Um, these are just the times for when I want to accomplish. So morning class usually is like in the morning for about two hours and then an afternoon class for about an hour. And then writing practice, it's not really an hour, but I just kind of put it like that because sometimes it may take me, um, I may have, I may take some time to review, but I usually practice for like 45 minutes and the rest is like review time. That's why I put it at an hour. This is my ideal daily routine, especially when the term starts. Um, this is not exact, but it is ideal, and it's just important for you to have some sort of schedule or some sort of routine. Um, so I'll study for around this time, and I'll have some free time. It's important to take breaks, as I've learned, um, and then I'll study again. So this is when my afternoon class is, and then this is when the practice study is. Again, 45 minutes for practicing and reviewing. 
um, whatever time is left over. And then all of my daily tasks and all of my stuff that I have to get done. Um, and this is just kind of like a simple routine that I've kind of created myself. Um, and what I've noticed that the daily habits that I like to get done with. So this is some information about me. These are my upcoming courses. Um, this is entirely up to you, but it just motivates me to see what's what's coming next. It really just gets me excited. Um, by the time I, you know, I'm almost done with the course. I'm like, okay, I'm really ready to go to the next course, you know, and this is what I'll be like, okay, I'll be doing this one. Ooh, this sounds interesting. You know, just a little motivator. Um, you don't have to have this at all, but it's just entirely for my benefit. We've got a calendar right here, the cute picture. Um, we've got the, the day and the time. Um, over on the side, we've got semester dates. Um, and then we've got the courses that I'm working on right now. Um, and again, this is just, you know, this is the writing praxis. That's what I'm working on right now. I'll go back and the reading praxis. Once I'm done with the writing, I'll pick up right where I need to do. And um, I'll just go from there. So I'm going to click on school first because I want to show you some um, stuff that I also added as well. Um, this to-do list is not really completely finished. Um, not real sure what I want to do with it just yet, um, but I kind of like have an idea. I wanted to like um, just put in some to-do lists. Um, I love to-do lists and it just kind of helps me to know like once I start, you know, a course, here's what I need to get done sort of thing. So like I haven't started term four yet, but it's coming up at the end of this week. Um, starts April 1st, 2023. And um, once I start this course, you know, once I finish planning it, which I've already done, but now I need to do the course intro and I will show you that in a second as well. This is my degree plan. Um, this basically kind of shows uh, me like all the classes that I've kind of done um and all their course codes and whatnot i have this space right here and i left it blank because um i may not get six classes done in term four that is my goal it just helps me like set a goal for the term but i may not get it done because things do happen um term two i got sick multiple times and i had a lot of personal stuff going on so i was only able to do four classes so the rest of those classes moved to term three so that's why I have this space left over, because although it is ideal that I complete all these classes, I really won't know until I start. And if we go back to the dashboard, I'm going to show you this is the this is where the magic happens. Personally, for me, this is where all of it, all of it happens, because this is where I really plan my course and I really get stuff done. Right here, we have instructor information. That's really all you need at WG. You really just need their name and their email. Um, to set up an appointment, you have to actually go through the portal. Um, I, I couldn't create it right here because it kept um, kept deleting itself for whatever reason. It, it kept saying error. So you actually have to go to your WG portal to actually schedule an appointment with them. But um, this makes it easy because if I want to email them, their email is just right here as well. Um, we've got the title of the course, the course code, and a little background, a little cute icon that I put up for myself. Um, the intro checklist. This is what I'm going to be doing day one. So when my term four starts on April 1st, officially, and when every term starts, you actually have to register the classes with your degree plan that day. Like you can't do it early. It's a little bit different from other universities, but don't worry. It's super easy. All you do is just click little buttons. You get your mentor's approval and you're in. So once I start every course, um, I usually look through the course material. I look through all the co cohorts and see if I need a, um, if I'm able to go to some. I, I love it when instructors put like um, end of a course review. I, I love that. Go to all the review sessions. You won't regret it. <laughs> um, instructor support. This is kind of like for some of the educational uh, courses, they usually have like an instructor support page where they list like study guides, task videos. Um, just, you know, note guides, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's just, you know, that's very important for me to know because that's where the other half of my material um, comes into play. Announcements and course tips are like little tabs um, on the WGU um, course page. And it just has more information that I think is really important for um, everyone to know. So I always make sure I, I check off these. Um, I may want to meet with my instructor just to kind of talk with things about um, any tips, advice. I always ask for their advice because I think it's important to get their perspective. 
uh, make sure I meet up with my mentor. Um, I think after the first term, you can meet up with them every two weeks, but I still prefer to meet up with them every week because it just makes me more accountable and make sure I complete stuff. They have their own pacing guide. Usually every course does, but I don't really use it so much because I usually finish courses when three to four weeks, depending on how in depth they are. Um, and that's, but I do use the pacing guide for like my planning guide and I'll show you in a second. So if we go back here, we have some learning objectives. It's just learning objectives for the course. And if I've mastered each one, you know, I'll, I'll click it. Um, this is all the assignments in every course. Sometimes you'll have quizzes. They aren't required and you'll have tests. They aren't required, but I highly recommend you take them anyway. And sometimes you'll have tasks as well as objective assessments. If you don't have any uh, performance assessments, then obviously I can just take these away. Over here, I have um, which um, assignment covers what, and I think that's important for me to kind of, it just helps me to plan. Um, oh, I need to get this material done in order to do this, you know. So I'm just, I just put in random units, um, but it'd be helpful to know, you know, if task three covers units three, four, five, or task one covers unit two, you know, it's just helpful to know, um, at least for me. Right here, this is purely for my benefit, but I wanted to keep up this uh, term with a weekly attendance. So I created this weekly attendance right here and it just lists, you know, how many days um, in, in one week because everybody's week is really different if you even include weekends or not, but I usually do. Um, except for this weekend, I'm going to be doing three hours on Saturday, Saturday and three hours on Sunday. And that's mostly because that's like my first day and I really want to get a lot done. I'm trying to get a little ahead because um, I know when Monday comes around, I'll be doing, you know, you know, the, the main work, probably looking in the course material and whatnot. But usually on weekends, I do about an hour to 90 minutes. I don't, I keep it very light and I usually don't do anything on Sundays. Um, just have time for me, you know. Uh, but once I've, you know, you know, I, I check myself in, you know, I, I've done all the hours for that day. I'll just click it um, and whatnot. These are my weekly goals. I usually have weekly goals um, because it just helps me to know, okay, here's what I need to accomplish. Here's what I'm hoping to accomplish. Um, and I talk with my mentor a lot about this um, because usually when she calls, she wants to know what am I getting done? Um, and it just really goes a long way um, and, you know, shows your mentor that you're very prepared and you're, you're ready to go to work, you know. Um, and this is just mentor comments, anything that she might've said to me that I might need to keep aware of or kind of complete. Um, that's just helpful to know. This is the planning guide. This is the big thing for me. Um, this goes into um, all the stuff that I want to get done for that particular day. Um, and the good thing about Notion and why you should use Notion for like your own planner is because if something happens, instead of just scratching it out on a, plan a paper planner and making a big mess, you can just copy it, paste it and move it to the next day. Real simple, real easy. Um, but this is just, you know, the times for my classes kind of reminds me to what get what to get done. On the first day, I'll usually do my intro checklist. Um, and sometimes if I have enough time, um, I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I get really excited to start a new term, new course. So I'll try and accomplish some of the course material. Um, but I really won't know anything until I get that pacing guide because it really just helps me to know like what to expect um, and what everything that I should make sure that I'm completing. Um. This is just a calendar for mentor appointments, instructor appointments. Um, if I need to do any success center, sometimes going to the writing or math centers help depending on what um, course you're in. Um, any other live events that you might get from your mentor saying, hey, this is part of your uh, degree. You need at least go to one of them and I'll, I'll come right here and put this in. Also put this in for cohorts. And I'm also a member of the NSLS. I think it's the national, um, national something, something about leadership and success. I always get the title confused because um, there are two S's in there. But anyway, um, sometimes I have to complete stuff and go to certain events. So I'll mark this in here as well. And this is just some cohort information, this little toggle list. There's, there'll be a link right here to the Zoom session. And if I need to grab some material um, before I go. And that pretty much uh, concludes my WG dashboard. If you would like a copy of this dashboard, um, there will be one in the description below. Um, it'll be free for like three days. So make sure you grab it um, while you can, because after that, um, it will be going on my Etsy shop. 
um, but you can still get it. Don't worry. <laughs> so, um, and I'll put the dates below for, um, you know, when it'll be available for free. This is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video with me.